When my strength is gone How can I turn the hands of time When the deed is done keeps my son on the phone for hours every day. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're welcome, my dear. Thank you very Just much, ma'am. Thank you. Please sit down. Come to our house. Thank you, ma'am. You have a lovely house, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my dear, so what do you do? Okay, I work in an insurance firm, ma'am. Oh, nice. Thank nice. you. <laughs> Samuel. Yes, mother. Why don't you give your guests a drink? We have drinks in the house. Mother, I will. We just got here. At least let her settle down first. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I never knew there was time like to giving guests drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Okay. Don't worry about it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I love it. Hi, Mom. Hello, baby Hi, girl. Sam. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. So, how was your day? So, Sophia. Yes, mother. What's going on? Where? Did you get those sunglasses from? Oh, this. I saw it on the dining table and it was dope. I decided to run with it. Are you, are you, are, are, are you mad? Oh, you saw it on the dining table and you decided to use it? For, for what? Huh? Are, are, you, are you high on cheap drugs? Samuel! But mother, please, stay out of this. Please! I'm sorry, I didn't know it was yours. How many of us live in, live in this house? It's about the, the three of us. Huh? But I said I'm sorry. Exactly. Sophia, please go and keep that sunglasses where you pick it from. My friend, will you give me those sunglasses before I, I, I do something to you? Give it to me. You. Now let me sound this loud and clear to you. Ask me before you touch anything of mine in this house. No sense. I'll just go to my room. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. She will not ab 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 abide by it. Ask me before you touch my things. Is that, is, is that too much to, 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 to ask? Always making me talk too much in this house. Don't mind what you just saw, okay? I, I need you to do me a favor. What is it, ma'am? I need you to help me talk to Sam about his temper. His, Sam is a very good man. But his problem is his temper. He has this fiery temper that when he gets angry, he does things that he won't even listen to reason, no matter who is talking to him. Until he does that which he has in his mind. And he will start crying, regretting. Really Please help me talk to him. It's okay, ma'am. I'll, I'll talk to him, I promise. I will. Thank you. God bless you for me. Bless you too, ma'am. You just saw what happened now. <sighs> just glasses. I know you always support it because I'm always the one at fault. Anyways, I, 
I have nothing to say now. Honey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go now. Okay, ma'am. Um, I have to go now. It's okay. It was nice meeting you. I'll see you some other time. Okay, darling. Thank right, you bye. so much. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, don't forget what I told you. It's it's okay, ma'am. I won't forget. Bye bye. Right. Where are we going? Just come with me. At least I need to know where we're going. Look, I am not ready for this bossy attitude. If you want, you can stay back. And what does that mean? I am not ready for answers and questions. Are you coming with me or not? At least I need to know where we're going. Have a nice day. Sam! Look at this guy. Sam! <laughs> Hello. Hey, well, ah, Sam, you're back. Yeah. Mm, welcome. Do you want some? Do you want lunch? No. Thank you. Okay. Um. Did Abigail come back into the house after I left? And why are you looking at me like that? I just asked a question. Can you imagine how anger makes you behave like a little child? Mother, if you don't have an answer to my question, you just say so. I did not ask to be insulted. Sam, no one insulted you. Stop taking corrections as insults. It's only kids with overbloated ego that do that. I brought my girlfriend to this house and all you did was dehumanize me in front of her. Thank you for all the insults. Excuse me. I, I dehumanized him in front of his girlfriend. Did you hear your brother? You know, Sam. Ah, does he even know the meaning of the word? He can say Anything when he's angry, just to prove his point. Mm. Just let him be, please. Mm. Mm. Okay. Like you care. Come on, I... I'm sorry. I am really sorry. Please forgive me. I should forgive you. But it will still happen again, yes. Come on, baby. It's not gonna happen again. Sam, let me even refresh your memory in case anger has made you forget what you did. You brought me to your home to meet your people and all of a sudden you just... Baby, wait, 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 please. L let's not go there. Okay, I know I messed up. I, I goofed. That is why I am, I am here asking for your forgiveness. Look, my, my knees are on the floor. I, I'm begging you. You're on your knees? Mm -hmm. How am I sure you're on your knees? Wait, so you actually want me to kneel down? Yes. Go down on your knees, raise your hands, close your eyes and open your mouth. <laughs> Baby, I love you so much. I love you too. But that doesn't mean I've forgiven you. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> now that you're begging really hard. No problems. Go, Sam. Your sins have been forgiven. And sin no more. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Bye. <sighs> Your brother needs total redemption. Eh? He looked me in the face and told me that I dehumanized him in front of the girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you flog him in front of his girlfriend? I wish I did. Sophia, you need to have seen what he did to that girl what today. Did On their way out, they got into an argument. I. Entered his car and drove off. And like drove off with her or something? He drove off alone and left the poor girl. You don't mean... <laughs> you don't Stop mean... Stop laughing though, it's not funny. Your brother needs serious intercessory hey. prayers. Now who needs serious intercessory prayers? Talk of the devil. He shows up. Wait, so I am not the devil? <sighs> Anyway, is there food in this house? I'm very hungry. You are hungry? I thought you said you were not eating. Forget about what I said earlier, Sophie. I just said I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm 
fine, thank you. How are you? Do you remember me? Of course, my brother's girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing here? Came to shop. Oh, I see. I also came to shop. I heard their things are quite cheap here. Their so things just... are very, very cheap. Okay, yeah. so I just want to pick up like just a few things, body sprays, sweets Same and all. Same here too, just very few things. Okay. That reminds me, Sam said you are waiting for your call-up letter. Yeah, I'm waiting for the next batch. Hopefully they post me to a juicy state and I will rock the place so good. <laughs> I hope so too for so you. So we shop together right Yes. Now. Right. <laughs> good to see you. You good look to beautiful. See you too. <laughs> Sorry. Are you blind? I'm sorry. Don't you see with your eyes? What is wrong with you? Do you want to injure me? Why are you insulting me? I hit you by mistake and I said I'm sorry. You said you're sorry. You're sorry, right? You're sorry! You're sorry! sorry. Oh! So sorry. Okay. sorry, kill you, the idiot! Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Why did you hit me that way? Okay. No, 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 wrong with you? Drop it. Happy girl. Come on, look out of this place. What kind of woman is this? Don't tell me that. Leave me. Rubbish. Sophia, when you're done, you come and meet me. Please. Is she on any drugs or what? I'm very sorry. I'll talk to you. Please. I'm oh, sure. shit. Abigail. Huh. Mom. Huh? Mom. If I tell you what my eyes saw today at the supermarket. What did you say? Good afternoon, first. Good afternoon. Uh -huh. I ran into Abigail. Abigail. Your son's girlfriend now. Oh, Abigail. What about her? That lady is a human tempest. Human tempest? Her anger issues is not even here. It is worse than Sam's own. Is she hot tempered too? Race to power 70. Man. It's not true. It's not true. Believe I me. saw it with my two eyes at the supermarket. Wait, let me let me put off the cooker. I'm coming. No problem, I'm here. Let me sit down first. I don't want to buy bread, I buy force. What's your problem? I don't want to buy bread. Oh, God, if you know that you have, you push the crisp. Huh? You're the crisp? You, 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 Why do you knock my car like that? I mean, guys, you don't buy cars before you knock my car like that. Let's go now. Let's go. 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 let us you know, you know, it's okay. It's okay. You know, man. It's okay. <laughs> what were you saying about <laughs> Sam's girlfriend? One lady stepped on her at the supermarket. And guess what? What did she huh. do? She gave her a tundra slap and even threatened to tear her to shreds. Maybe she's in a bad mood or something. Mom, this has nothing to do with mood. If you see the display of madness, <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> That's not true. Sam has anger issues. He wouldn't date any woman with the same issues as he has. Mm -mm. He's not that stupid. No. no, I don't think so. I saw it with my own eyes. You may be misjudging the lady. You know, the other day I told you how your brother abandoned this lady. What did she do? She just smiled and walked away. A woman with anger issues will not do that. It's okay, mom. You win. I win. I win in a contest before. No problem, Mom. Let me go and drop the things I bought from the supermarket. What? Once I did not tell you. Okay. Oh. Hey, Abigail, welcome. Thank you. Is that around? Nope. And what are you doing? Chatting online. My friend, will you take your legs off that sofa? What's wrong with me lying down on the sofa for God's sake? Are you mad? 
I told you to take your legs out there. Stop lying down there. You're asking me questions. How many times have I warned you? If you want to lie down, you go to your bedroom and lie down. Or better say you lie on the floor. You yeah, know why I'm sitting up, oh. Because if dad were here now, you will see me lying down on the sofa and not say anything. Ah, good evening, mother. Good evening, Samuel. You're back? Yes. How was work today? Very well, and how was your business? It went well. That's good. Just go up, refresh, and come down. There's something I'll need to ask you. What is it you can ask me now? Hmm? Mother, I don't need to go upstairs to freshen up. Ask me now. Samuel? Yes, mother. You can ask me now. Okay. Um, your girlfriend, Abigail. Yes, what about Abigail? Is she hot-tempered as you? What sort of a question is that, mother? I asked you a question. Answer it. <laughs> Abigail. Yes, Dad. <laughs> if I tell you what happened today, yeah. Your boyfriend surprised me today. Do you know what he did? Yes, Dad, I know. He told me everything already. Really? Yes, he told me. You are aware he's hot tempered. And so, what's the big deal? So you know. That I know. And why are you asking me all these questions? Where is this conversation headed? Mm. You are hot tempered. <laughs> And he is hot tempered. Both of you don't match at all. Daddy, we will be all right. I need to go inside. Please get me a glass of water. Okay, Daddy. I asked you a simple question. Answer me. There is nothing simple about what you just asked me. And it's not sitting well with me. See, Samuel, it is based on what I heard that made me ask you this question. What did you hear? Oh, really? I should tell you what I heard. Yes, I want you to tell me what you heard. Sam, is your girlfriend as hot-tempered as you are? Yes or no? I don't know. Excuse me. You don't know. Your father actually said that. Well, I don't blame him. He doesn't know how much we love each other. Oh, um, that reminds me. Um, I want you to come over and have dinner with my family. No, I'm not going to walk out on you again. <laughs> Get on my phone. <laughs> Mm. I love it. This is this is good. Thank you, Baba. I think you should um start running a restaurant. <laughs> yes, you're that good. Really? Mm. 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 So I'd have thought, what will I be doing? <laughs> Mom, really? <laughs> you're the mother chef, so you'll be running chains of restaurants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers. You see why I don't eat out? Because I have two of the best cooks in this house. I know, right? <laughs> mm. Sophia, this is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. But remember that these two best cooks will not remain with you forever. Oh, ah, yes, I know that, mother. And that is why we're having this beautiful dinner. <laughs> That's the whole essence. Abigail? Yes, my love. You're an amazing woman. I love you so much. You're my soulmate, my better half. So, um, I want to use this opportunity to ask you to spend the rest of your life with me.
Yes. Will you marry me? I feel. Yes. I'll marry you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know. Beautiful. Mommy saw that. She said yes to your oh boy. Your boy is getting married. This is nice. You know you're the best, right? You don't know how happy you've made me right now. Same here, baby. Are you sure? Of course, honey. Oh, well, you better be. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. It looks good in you. Honey, you know, I didn't see this coming, honestly. I know. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it this soon. Well, you're gonna be <laughs> my wife soon. I know, and I like the sound of that. When am I seeing you again? <laughs> when do you want to see me again? Hmm. How about tomorrow evening? Tomorrow evening? Okay, sir. Your wish is my command. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? What do you mean you'll see me later? Are you not going home? I am, but you're dropping me. Ah, uh, babe, I'm I'm so tired. I, 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 I can't drive. You're so tired? I, I can't drive. Just get a cab and, and then go home. Do you know what time it is? It's just 9 p.m. 9 p.m.? Yes. Okay, so you know it's 9 p.m. And you expect me to go back to my house by this time of the day? Are you okay? Baby, you came by yourself. Because you invited me, and I thought you were supposed to drop me. What After do you mean? After eating the food in the house, I should go and drop you. Did I beg you to invite me to give me then food? Then why did you eat the food? Why would I eat the food? I was on my own and you told me to come to your house. Are you okay? You didn't eat the food my, in your place. I should start going by, by myself by this time of the day. I should go and pick taxi and go home. What is wrong with you? Look at this boy. Is there anything wrong with you? Are you mad? By this time of the day, I, no, I should I, go I, I, Are you mad? You know what? Go to hell. You and your dinner and your drink. Get out, all of you! I should go to hell. Come on, get out! No, I, I should go to hell. Stupid boy! No, 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 After I propose to you, I'm get giving you a ring. I should, I, you eat my food. I should drop you. Put my ring back if I should go to hell with my ring. Idiot. Can you imagine? You come, come, come to my house and you, you come and eat my food. I should drop you. Because it's, uh, it's nine, 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 9 p.m. Is it late? Hey, Samuel, come here. What was that stupid stunt you just pulled? Eh? I thought you told me you just wanted to invite your girlfriend to dinner. Why turn it into an engagement party? Mother, I am I am not ready for this, okay? Okay? Hey! Young man, stop there. I am not done. Listen and listen good. I am not part and parcel of that useless arrangement you just made. Marriage is not something you rush into just like that. If you rush into marriage anyhow, you rush out anyhow. Do you hear me? Go and cancel it. Good night, mother. Hey! Hey! Uh, Dad, you know now, you already know me. I'm a chef. Oh. Chef, pa. You know. Is it not a lead baby that you know? <laughs> <laughs> dad, I'm a chef. Oh. Okay, no. oh. Hello, sister, yeah. but... Good evening, Dad. Good evening. Dad, You're welcome. What's up? I'm cool. Huh. You look happy today. Of course. I'm always happy. Mm. Except when you get under my skin. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, Sam proposed and I accepted. What? Yes, Daddy. You did what? You heard me. Sam and I are engaged. That's mm. great. Congratulations. I know, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> I am not in support of it. In fact, you can't get married to him. Dad, why can't I marry Sam? Both of you have short fuse. Both of you have crazy temper. Daddy, hmm? Sam loves me. And I love Sam too. Hmm. And that's final. We're getting married. Dad, if she wants to get married to him, just let her get married to him. Their personalities are not matched at all. They are two different people. Dad, just let her get married to him and leave this house for peace to reign. I am sick and tired of her authoritarian nature and her unnecessary tantrums. Shut up. I'm Bruce. So just because of this, you want me to close my eyes and allow her marry the wrong person? 
Are you all right? Is that not selfishness? Ah! We need peace in this house. Who is that? What is it? Don't worry. I'm going to keep on talking to Papa. He must let you marry Sam. I've heard. I like Sam and I support you marrying him. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to ask you something. Now what? <laughs> I hope Sam will come and pray a bright price very soon. He better come free and bright price very soon. Brother, um, I was working with my laptop and it packed up and I was speaking with a friend of mine who has a laptop for sale. I was thinking if I should tell you to help me get another one. Sophia, I am not in the right mood to entertain any request for money, okay? I know, but... I said not now! Can you just leave me alone? I used to stand in here. So sorry. Hey, hey. <laughs> so after abandoning me for God knows how long, you're here. Thank God. I'm sorry, my darling. It's not easy for me to, you need to see how busy I am in the office with passion. Huh. I I understand. It's not easy for me, seriously. I understand. So how are the children? They are fine, thank you. And how are yours? Ah, we are fine. Oh. Mm -hmm. We are very fine. <laughs> Guess what? What? Do you know yesterday? Samuel made us witness his engagement to his girlfriend, Abigail. Oh, wow. That's great. But do you know anything about uh, Abigail? Have you done some background check? You know Sam is temperamental, so you need to do some findings. Know how far about the family. You're right, too. Oh, I haven't done that, too. Oh. Very right, important. I will do that. You need to tell Sam to come to my office for anger management session. It's very important. Hey, do you know how many times I have told him? I keep telling him, but he won't listen. I have begged, I have cajoled. But it's okay. No, okay. you need to keep telling him. He needs to come. Give him my contact. Let him come. He needs to come to see him in the office. And don't forget to make some background check towards Abigail. Her personality, it's very, very important. I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, my good. Do you evening. live around here? Yes, I do. Okay, my name is Mrs. Onodo. I am looking for one Miss Abigail Ozochi that lives there. Oh, okay. Yes, ma, I know her very well. Do you know her very well? Yes, ma. Okay, please, can you tell me what kind of person is she? Ma, I don't understand. You see, my son wants to marry her. So I just want to find out her kind of person. Uh, Who is she? What does she, you know? Uh, <laughs> Madam, I, I don't get changed. Why not tell me that I want to ask you again? I don't get changed. Okay, I'll go tell you that I want to ask again before you go find change. Give me. Is there anything wrong with you? Madam, you don't see me go buy food for that first session now. You don't give me this money. My car, my car, my car. I tell you my business. Say you go buy food, you don't get it. I beg you, Mr. Is there anything wrong with you? Madam, I don't get changed. I'm not going to tell you if you talk that rubbish. Now tell you what you're not giving me. I don't know. Give me a demo. No, it's only. Don't police me down. Why is it pushing them? Ah, Jesus. Come here. 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 Come
I saying something earlier. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. I, I'm okay. I'm ah. okay. Thank you very much for your time. Huh? Okay. Bye. Bye. Fool! Hopeless man. Abigail. What? Are you, have you come bananas? Why did you smash that young man's windscreen? Uh, he was lucky it was only his screen that I smashed. I would have broken his head. So uh, whatever he told you, did it permit you to smash his windscreen? Do you know what he said to me? Do you know what he said to me? Next time, when he sees a woman like me, he will learn how to talk. Rubbish! He's very lucky. He's good. He's good. Ah, Baba, I'll go run now. Uh, not to buy new windscreen. Uh, new windscreen, how? Can't we at least fix the old one? Uh, uh, no, uh, no fix them. Okay, 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 okay. The new one, how much will it cost? Uh, uh, 20,000. 20kk? What do you mean, kk? I don't have that type of money. Uh, 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 to spend it on old Abigail. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I'm going to go to the See if you can what they carry the feed my family. You know how I get this money? Money, where, where? This is in a family land where they say, give my one share. Now, Muna can't do that. Ha. You are your sister or your wife, I don't know. Muna, ma, ha. Sophia. Mama. Good afternoon, Ma. Oh, my God. My eyes saw my ears today. Ha. Mama. What happened? I was able to trace Abigail's house. <laughs> but I told you it's not difficult to, to find now. So, what did people tell you about her? My eyes saw the answer to the question that took me there. <laughs> okay, what did you see? Hey! Sophia. An angry monster. But Mama, that's not new now. I told you, so I'm not surprised. I am not sure. Where is that woman that broke the windscreen? Windscreen, okay. Officer, now she be this. Now she be this. No, 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 tell me, tell me, no, tell me. What is it? Young lady, you are under arrest. You have to remain silent. Useless man. So you call the police for me, eh? Why didn't you face me like a man? You go not say I did less. If, if not be said I less, what type of do you, eh? You go to that side two years. You never see something. I'm Bruce Cole's son. No, uh, no. Hello? Hello, Sam. S Sam, where are you? Um, Sam, there's something I need to tell you. There's something I saw today that consigns you. On your way to the police station, to do what? Samuel. 
Hello? Hello? My battery died. Oh, your battery died. Um, why do you look so tired? Abigail had the case at the police station. That's where I have been. But thank God that the case had been resolved. I'm um, so tired. Oh, Abigail had a case at the police station. Was it because of the windscreen she smashed? How did you know that? Sam, you will not marry that girl. What? It will be over my dead body that you will marry that girl. That girl is as hot-tempered as you are, or even worse. Both of you are not compatible. And I will not allow both of you to get married because you will burn down this house one day. Excuse me. Sam, I'm talking to you. Mother said I can't marry you because we are both hot tempered. And that it will be over her dead body for her to give us our consent. What? Yeah, that's what she said. No, how did she know I'm hot tempered? She saw what happened yesterday. She told me everything. She told you everything? How? I mean, I, I didn't see her. Look, baby. That is not important. What's important right now is for us to let her see reasons with us. What about your father? My father hasn't said anything new. He still thinks we are not compatible. That, that, that is what I, I, I don't understand. Why do they think they know us better than we know ourselves? I don't know. They just keep thinking we are kids. You know what we want and we want each other. <sighs> you know what? Let's just ignore them. They cannot tear us apart. I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> How can I fight myself? Have a great day. When my to go strength yeah, is nice gone. You too. <laughs> I'll try not to. How can I turn the hands of time? <laughs> When the deed is done I know my man. Alpha, Baba. Tell I do. I just based, man. It's been a long time. Where have you been? Well, I, I've been around. I'm good. You know how it is. The hustle. What's up? What did you say? Wait, the last thing I know is getting married. Are you serious? When? Oh, next month. Right, 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 right. You know what? Just send me the address, send me the location, send me invite, send me anything you want to send me. I'm going to be there. Yes, I will represent. Live and colored. Amen. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <sighs> All my friends are getting married. I need to join this marriage club. I have to do this. 
No, I... I need to get married. Your father did not say anything about me coming to see him? He didn't say anything. He just looked at me and walked away. Okay. When you go inside, I want you to remind him that I'm coming to see him tomorrow with some people. Okay? Okay. I have to go now. I miss you. You know I miss you too. And I love you so much. No. I love you. So, 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 so much. No. I love you most. Me. I love you more than most that I love you. I love you more than the most that you're talking about. <laughs> okay. I love you. Anyhow. <laughs> I love you too. You take care, okay? All right, you too. Drive carefully. Bye, bye. Drive carefully, okay? Remind him all. Oh. I will. <sighs> Wait, are you guys not ready to go with me? Go with you to where? To see Abigail's people. Simon, you will not marry that girl. So stop deceiving yourself. Her father knows you already. He knows who you are. What do you mean her father knows me already? Do you need me to spell it out for you? Both of you are different personalities. You can never marry. You know what? I am not ready for this lecture. I guess I'll do this alone. Um, gentlemen, you are once more welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chepas. I have seen the gift that you have brought to me. Mm. I received them wholeheartedly. Yeah. We used to say that um, so I believe there must be a reason for your coming to my house. Of course, Mr. So you have the opportunity to serve it now. <laughs> yes, Mr. Chekwas. Let's go straight to the point. We are here because of your daughter, Abigail. Hold it there. I remember my daughter, Abigail, telling me that uh, Sam will be coming with his kinsmen to ask my daughter's hand in marriage. Yes. And I remember vividly telling her that marriage cannot work, that I will not grant such request. Um, excuse me, sir. Why can't I marry your daughter? <laughs> well, I believe your mother ought to have told you why, because I have told my daughter the reason why you cannot marry my daughter. My mother cannot tell me who to or who not to marry. I am old enough to do that by myself. Yeah. You have every capacity to do that, financially and otherwise. But the marriage between you and my daughter can never go well. This has no personal reasons, <clears throat> but I think that wife you want to marry cannot be my daughter. So, the earlier you get that into your head, the better. Excuse me to say, sir, you are not God. To know what will happen between me and your daughter in the future. I love her so much and she loves me too. That is all that matters. Well, I am surprised that um, you are the one saying this. If it were to be him, I would have used the adage that what an old man see sitting down, a young man climbing an Iroko tree can never see. <laughs> there is no need you trying to talk me into it. You see, um, the marriage between Sam and my daughter can never work. I will never grant such request. I will not even collect a bride price from them. And this is final.
Brother, you're back. Um, do you want something to eat? Brother, what is wrong with you? Huh? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it my fault to eat? Every day, food, 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 food. Come and shove it down my, my, my throat. What is wrong with you? Now let me tell you something. Better go to your husband's house and let me have space in this house. Huh? So, people. Huh? Leave me alone, no. Why is he shouting at you? And what's he saying about husband's house? Mama, don't you know your son? When he's angry, he just says everything. Who, who made him angry? I don't know. Yes, um, hello, baby. How are you? Wait, have you been crying? Baby, what's making you cry? Something has been on my mind and I want to share it with you. What is it? Let's get married. Isn't that what we've been trying to do? And everyone keeps preventing us from doing it. I know. We can get married without them. Mm -hmm. Look. Ah, uh, Simon. Are you going somewhere? Yes, Abigail and I are getting married today. Uh, that had better be a joke. Mom, you should know by now I don't have a good sense of humor. Later. Ah. Good day, sir. Good day, madam. I am Mrs. Onodo, Sam's... Uh, uh... Of course I recognize you. Oh, okay. Please, sir, is your daughter Abigail at No, Abigail is not at home. She left home this morning. Is there anything the matter? Sam told me this morning before he left the house that he was getting married to Abigail today. Getting married to Abigail? That's not possible. <laughs> he meant it. I was just hoping maybe Abigail has said something of that nature to you. No, she never mentioned anything of such to me. But how can they get married without my collecting bride pride for them? It's not possible. Home sweet home. Ah. <laughs> Good afternoon, mother. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. What is going on here? Oh, I told you I was going to come back home with my wife. What are you talking about? Abigail and I got married in the court. So she's officially my wife now. Got married at the court? Mm -hmm. Samuel, are you out of your mind? How can you take someone's daughter and get her wedded in the court without paying her bride price? Mother, that is not true. I had her bride price, but her father refused to accept it. Anyway, I will not stay in this house with you and this abomination. So send her back to her father's house or I will throw her out myself. You seem to forget that this house was actually willed to me. So you don't have the right to send her out. Excuse me, honey, let's go. Thank you. Samuel! How can I fight myself when my strength is gone? 
How can I turn the hands of time? One that deep is done. Imagine my daughter going off with a man who is not her husband to cohabit. No. Should I have stopped her? No, Dad. Considering the type of temper she has. You are mad. How can you support your sister to run off with a man who is not her husband? But she said they have gotten married in court. Shut up. Shut up your trash. I thought you have a good head. On this your shoulder. How can you talk about court wedding when I have not collected the bride price? Dad, then just collect the bride price from Sam. I don't want them to get married. Their marriage will be a disaster waiting to happen. Dad, I, I just want her to leave this house so that, I, so that I can have some peace. I don't think I can put up with her, her short fuse and her short temper anymore. Ah, I can now see where you're coming from. In fact, you are a shame. A very big one. So if I am no more, you cannot run things around this house. You cannot take decision. Eh? I'm Bruce. I'm Bruce. Anyway, I know what to do. I am the happiest man in the world right now. <laughs> and I'm the happiest woman in the world right now. Mm. So tell me, um, what do you think your father is going to say? I don't know. And honestly, I don't even care. Mm. Yeah, of course, I've made my decision and that's fine now. Okay. So how about your mom? Do you think she will accept me? She doesn't have a choice. You're cheating with the big boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. <sighs> we made it, babe. We made it. <laughs> we damn made it. We did. <laughs> I have come for you. Good morning, sir. Oh, shut up. And keep your stupid greetings to yourself. Listen, you went and wedded my daughter without my consent, without paying her bride price. Sam, Sam, I will come for you. And when I come, I will hit you so hard. Sir, you and I know that is not true. You must be out of your mind. But that my husband, he wanted to pay the bride price and you- Shut up! Not even a word from you. Because you are a disgrace. Just imagine. Very stupid girl. Morning, madam. Tell your son here. I don't know what he is called. Tell him to go and undo what he did with my daughter at the court registry. Else, I will sue him to his last call. I am a man of few words. Ignore me to your own peril. Nonsense. Cheers to love, baby. Cheers to love. Mm. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. I don't either. I just love you and I want to be with you. Thank you. It's so beautiful. Shit. <laughs> Honey. Hmm? Remember you said you were going to make quite soup for me? Yes, I remember. So when are you going to make it? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. I know, I will do it. Okay. Actually. <laughs> I just, okay, let me give her the phone. She's here, she's here. <laughs> hey, hey. Hello, what, 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 what is this? Huh? What, what, is what, 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 is, what, what is all this? What is it? Why are you combing your hair whilst I'm eating? Is it not your hair? What sort of question is that? Can't I comb my hair anywhere I like? 
go to the bathroom and comb your hair. And you go to the damn dining and eat your food. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you. Don't say look like a Yes, I'm talking to you. Don't in say my, look in like a diamond. In my own room. I, I, I don't care. Jesus. You're mad. You, you, you're very stupid. Are you, are you, are you serious right now? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you serious right now? Huh? You smash me. You want, you want to fight me? You're mad. Can you imagine? I left my phone upstairs. How can you do it? Go and tell me this and stop! Where are you? My God! Go and separate them now. Eh? I should do what? Go and separate them. Is it not your brother? Sam will not listen to me. So listen if you me. don't know what to talk, I will smack you! Go and get me! 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 I'll burn all these clothes. See these clothes? Sorry. I am truly sorry. Please forgive me. And uh, about your phone, I will get you another one tomorrow. Am I forgiven? Then let's just go back inside and sleep. Because, no. Mom, huh? were these not the two people that almost broke their heads yesterday? Now they're acting all over it, Ovi. Ha! Oh. Mm. Why do you like arguing? And you hate taking corrections. Why? Oh, really? Is there any sense in what you're saying? Which correction am I supposed to take exactly? Are you mad? What do you mean? Am I making any sense right now? Uh, huh? Me? Mad? If you thought I was mad, then why did you marry me? Then stop acting like one. That is the same way I come to the police. Oh, please, get out of my face! You because you put a little screen. And I'm talking you. to you! Abigail! Rubbish! Keep complaining about every, every single thing every time. I'm talking tired to you, you and you're walking out on me. What I'm is wrong with you telling you the truth? I'm tired of hearing it. I'm not interested. Ah. Truth <laughs> and your end. <laughs> and what was that? Huh? You're angry because I tried talking to you? Oh, what kind of talking is that? 
What sort of talk is that? You blame me from police station, so what? Was she rubbish in a different conversation with Did her? you have to get angry because I mentioned it? It was just the two of us. There oh, was nobody there. So until you announced it to BBC and CNN before I can get angry? Sam, why are you so impossible? No, you are impossible! Really? I'm impossible? You know who keeps talking about this? I just put it up because we were just talking. It just came up. Rubbish. I don't care anymore. Don't I don't want to go anywhere. Do not insult me. I don't want to go. I'm not going Do not insult me. Damn. <sighs> Sam. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. You're back. Yeah. Uh, Sam, please. Huh? Come. There's something I need to talk to you about. What is it, ma'am? Please sit. So, first I want to ask you, is this how you want your life to be? How do you mean? What is wrong with my life? Are you happy with what happened here yesterday? Listen, Mom, whatever happened yesterday was just a... Uh, um, how do I even put it? It was just... You see, you don't even have the word to use to explain it. <sighs> Sam, for the first time in our lives, the commotion in this company was so loud. I'm sure the neighbors all heard your voices. Your sister and I know you have temper issues. And we do our best to put up with it. But you, it's different for an outsider who equally has bigger temper issues than you do. Mother, um, Abigail and I are married. So I don't see the point of having this conversation. Customarily, you are not married. Because you are yet to pay her bright price. And that is the most fundamental marriage contract that everybody knows. What you people did in that court was a mere charade. You are not yet married, Samuel. I want you, if possible, I have given you Dr. Kaima's address and no number since. You know her very well. Why don't you take your wife go to her? She's ready to help. Please, if you insist on not going, then why don't you take this girl back to her father's house? Mother, I, I am sorry to disappoint you, but I cannot do that. Which of them can you not do? Sam, I'm telling you what will help, what will help you in the future. How are you? Fine. And what is this for? It's for the glass in your car that I broke and a refund of the money you spent in the police station. Come on, baby. I did not ask you to pay me back. Isn't that why you've been insulting me? Me? Insult you? Of course. You've been rubbing it in and just bringing it up in every conversation that we're having. Come on. I just had to give it to you. Baby, I did not insult you, okay? What am I even going to do with this money? Take the money. Just do anything you want with it. Oh. I know. There's this shoe I saw at the mall. I'm gonna buy that. Come back home, get dressed, go out, have some drinks, come back and cuddle my beautiful wife. Yes. Sam, huh? can I have my money back, please? You said what? You heard me. Come again. You heard me, give me back my money. This money? money? Yes, this no, money, give it to it's, me. It's not yours, it's mine. I thought you said you were paying me back. I'm not paying you back, you just give me back my money. I need this money. This give me money. the money. I sir. need this money. Give me, give me my money. Now you're the wrong kitty kitty. Give me eh? my money. You're the wrong kitty kitty. You don't have, you don't have money. Give me my money. You say you want to pay me back. Yes, I want to. You want to pay me back. I want to pay me back. I'm not give giving me. it to you. I ain't giving it to you because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi there. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> I told you. Okay. I was That's going fine. to show you, but you told me that you were not going to see. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
you. God, who poured water on this floor? I did. You did. You poured water on this floor and you left it and you're standing there making calls. Let me call you back, please. So if my son had crashed to the wall, what would you have done? Actually, there was Actually a what? God. And you couldn't clean it immediately. Uh, Mama, please. There's no need for all of that. Why are you scolding her? What if you had crashed your head to this wall? Will you be saying this? Well, thank God I did not crash my head on the wall. There's no need for this. Okay? Please, defender of the universe. Keep on defending her. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to. You see the way your mom was just talking to me now? It's okay. I'm so sorry. You know, I, I, I wouldn't let anybody mess around with you. Okay? I'm sorry. All right? It's okay. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Hmm. This is nice. Hey, you. Hi, Abigail. What are you doing? I'm making a goosey soup. Mm, goosey soup. That's my favorite. Okay. So, what can I help you with? No, don't worry. I'm done. I'm just clearing the place. Fine. No, there has to be something. Okay, I'll do the dishes. Yeah, yeah don't let worry. Me do. No, let me help you. I insist. So tell me, Sophie. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Hey, yes, I do. Oh, you do. Is he handsome like my Sam? <laughs> How we go? Hi. Sir. Good morning. How are you? Um, has my brother gone to work? You mean my husband? Uh, I'm talking about my brother. Has he gone to work? Sophia, are you asking if my husband has gone to work? I'm talking about my brother to know if he has gone what to work. What is the matter with you? Is your brother not my husband? Why do you keep erasing that part? I only really asked the question. I don't know why you're shouting. Will you stop talking nonsense? Sophia, why is it difficult for you to recognize my position in this house? And what is your position in this house? Oh, eh? What is your position in this house? So, in your mind, you think you are married to my son? Hmm? Ne. Let me bust your bubbles. Hmm? You are not married to my son. You can never be married to my son. You are only cohabiting with him. Foolish girl. Look at that. Position. Husband, 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 indeed. That's her. Oh, oh. Mama. Wait, my, my sister said that to you? Is she mad? If she doesn't see me as your husband, then what the hell does she take me for? I warned her. Just go down there and warn her because next time I will not tolerate this from her. Excuse me. Robert Sophia! I was talking about my husband. And you were there telling me my brother is my brother that. He's my husband! So what really happened? I only came out here to ask after my brother. And she said shouting, that's all. Sophia! Husband is this. Sophia! Listen to me. You're not going to be a problem to me in this house. I will not sit and watch you insult my wife again. I did not insult anybody. You did not insult her. Then what did you tell her? Samuel, why don't you just ask your sister her own part of the story before you jump to conclusions? My wife already told me the story. Ah. Now let me sound this clear to you. I am less of a brother and more of a husband to my wife. Do hey, I make you, myself clear? You are less of a brother to me? Yes, you heard me. Oh, oh. So you mean you are less of a son to me now, and I am less of a mother to you? Mother, don't put words in my mouth, okay? Hey. To get ready for work, excuse me. Hey! What just happened? What did he just say? Sophia. Mom, <laughs> Mom good afternoon. <laughs> she wants to burn down the house. 
Good evening. Brother, welcome. Thank you. Evening. What's burning? Who's cooking in the kitchen? Sophia, are you deaf? I said, who is cooking in the kitchen? How can I be in the, cooking in the kitchen and then I'm sitting here when something is burning? What's going on? Who wants to burn this house? Going on. Do you want to burn, burn down this house? Oh, please stop backing. You just came back now and you, you're just shouting anyhow. Do you want to burn the house? Are you, are you mad? Listen, let me tell you something. Stop being rigid and listen to corrections, okay? Oh, I'm being rigid? Yes. You're the one who is rigid. It's you that is rigid. Please just get out. Let me know what to do about this. Look place. at this girl. Though. As old as you are, you can't even boil, boil, boil common white Excuse rice. Excuse me, sir. Get out of this and Stop backing like a mad dog. What's your problem? Me? Yes, you. Backing mad like dog. a mad dog? Yes, you. What would you... Back you. You mad. But forget about come and cl cl clean this mess. Look at the whole, the whole house is, is, is smelling. Because of wh white rice. Abigail. 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 Hey. Jesus Christ. Baby. Oh my God. Oh shit. Ah, sorry. Baby, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh my God. Stay. Stay with me, baby. I got you. She's okay. Can I see her? Calm down. Just calm down. She's in a pretty bad shape right now. Oh God. And you can't see her. Mostly because she has internal bleeding. What? In the head. Yeah, internal bleeding? Um, please. I, I want you to do everything and anything to make sure she's okay. I, 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 don't, I don't want to lose her. Take it easy. Just. This is exactly what I've been telling you about your anger. You know what? Just take my advice. Go for anger management class. And pray she survives this without having amnesia. If not, her family will come for your head. Oh my god. Hey, uh, uh, um, uh, doctor, please. Please. I, 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 I would do anything. I would do anything. But I, I, I want you to make sure she's okay. I, I, I love her so much. I don't want her to die. I beg you, please. You see, you see in this thing called marriage, eh? Sometimes, love, love is just not enough. We need to learn to do better. Is she okay? Ab Abigail, Abigail is in a critical condition. But I'm so sorry. It's okay. She will be fine. She will be fine, okay? Don't blame yourself too much. Mother, she, she, she's dying because I. I I couldn't control my temper. It's okay, son. Don't blame yourself too much, okay? She will be fine. Hmm? I, 
I know. She will be fine. See, son, I think this is the time for you to visit Dr. Kaima. Visit her and let her help you. Okay, son, please. She will talk, talk, talk to her. She will, she will help you. If not for any reason, do it for the reason of the woman you love. A big girl. Yes. Please. Okay. I love my wife Abigail so much and I know she loves me too. Ours was fire and fury. It took the near-death experience of my wife for me to understand what my mother has been saying all this while. I finally decided to seek for help from Dr. Kaima and it was very helpful I must say. Myself when my strength is gone, how can I turn the hands of time when the deep is done? All the while I was on the hospital bed, it struck me that my husband was different. He was changed.
He laughs more. And he told me he's getting help to be a better husband for me. He pleaded with me to get help too. My angel and I took the therapy and today, we are better. Don't wait till it's too late to seek for help. I and my husband are happier today. How can I fight myself? Remember that anger is when a word away from danger. Seek help before it is late. Time.